Hello, everyone. I'm Sean, and I'll give a little background about myself here. Um, I've been involved in RDI for over five years. I have two beautiful children, eight-year-old boy and a four-year-old girl. And we um, got the diagnosis of PDD and then autism around two years of age for our boy. And uh, our son's first intervention lasted almost a year. Uh, realizing there had to be something much better um, for our son, I got to go to the intervention and view it. And I was watching what they were doing, and something just wasn't clicking with me as a parent. Um, number one, that I wasn't involved um, in anything that they were doing. And number two, uh, it didn't really um, – it really didn't seem to do anything for our son except create a little more anxiety and um, started to become more agitated. And I, I wasn't seeing um, where this was going. So our, actually our developmental pediatrician recommended that we look into RDI, Relationship Development Intervention, as she thought it was the most promising uh, approach coming along at the time. And so while we were still in an inter intervention daily, um, started to research it, and it, it made so much sense. It was, it was such a higher bar standard. Uh, during that time, you know, uh, we contacted a consultant and began um, learning about what to do. And, and that's when we began the process and, and started to regain our role as parents. I know many of the parents who uh, may be viewing this just uh, starting out in um, relationship development intervention or those parents that have been around a long time or those potentially who will be um, uh, joining in. Uh, you know, these are kind of, I'm sure, a similar but different story that we all have shared and um, at the beginning of all of this when you get the diagnosis. And so I thought giving you just a little bit of background kind of, uh, as you know, as being, being from a parent's perspective, I'm sure you all can um, relate. And so I think now we can uh, check out what I would call the crisis and other parent obstacles. I'm really hopeful that this can uh, give a lot of parents assistance in, in moving forward and being available for your child more. As I thought about it over the years, you know, at the very beginning, when you get that diagnosis, you know, I understand it is a place that you don't want to go back to again, although it's going to be in our memories forever. After thinking about it, I found a parallel of crisis or being in the crisis mode as a parent or parents in the family um, with your child with the diagnosis of autism. I mean, the parallels that I see as a parent, um, you are, what do I do now? I'm very confused. Um, I can't think correctly. My whole world is turned upside down. I can't make much sense of it. And, you know, once again, what do I do to move away from being in this crisis? And as your child with autism, I think the parallel is even though the neurology is probably a lot different and, and there's not the exact same emotions going through uh, their mind because we can't read their mind, but the same kind of inability to be competent in the world at that time. They're not sure what to do or who to look to or how to look to people for guidance. And the same thing as the parent. And crisis to me is, you know, is arguably the number one parent obstacle and whatever you need to do to move away from it the best you can, whether that be therapy or support groups or actually anything that you can do thinking about it to move away from it the best you can, as fast as you can. And the other parallel is no one can just tell you to, you know, snap out of it or move out of it quick or just do this and you're going to feel better about it all. The same with your uh, child or children with autism. You can't just have a quick solution to what they're going through. They're going to need to go through a process to move away from being um, dysregulated or confused or really they're just not competent in our world. 
And so one of the things that relationship development intervention did, which was so important to me, is it restored my role, our, our, our role as, as parents to our child. And it really puts you in a position of empowerment. And what do I mean by empowerment is now you have uh, something, in your, your responsibilities are returned to you as parent guide to your child. And with the help of the consultant, it's, it's really a great feeling. And for me, that single thing helped me personally move away from crisis and to be much more available to guide my child. 